What is up YouTube? It's your boy Matt Get The Hands back to you with another haircut tutorial. And in this haircut tutorial, we are going to be doing a one with the grain on top using the wall cordless seniors. And I am using the ceramic blade on this haircut. If y'all are not familiar with it, it's pretty dope. Um, they have it for the seniors. Um, I believe they have it for the the magic clips as well and also the trimmers i have yet to get them for the andis trimmers but right now i'm using them on my seniors and then we're going to do a ball fade on the sides and of course we are going to add the enhancement after the haircut and it's going to take it to a whole nother level on this particular client we all know every client has their own type of style their own type of haircut their own type of edge up my client right here, I've been cutting his hair for about six years now, and he has struggled finding a barber because every time a barber cuts his hair, they end up cutting off the peak. We call it the peak, known as the widow's peak or whatever, but his hairline grows kind of to a point. So we embrace it, we enhance it, we add a nice sharp line to it, and it looks clean like my man pulls it off. So shout out to my client for pulling off this type of haircut. And it's a clean haircut in my eyes, and he loves it, and that's, and that's all that matters. But it just goes to show that not every client is the same. Not every client has the same edge up. I mean, with my hairline, you have to push it back because it has to be made into a nice crisp edge up. Um, but let's get back on the topic. Um, I started with the lever all the way closed on my first guideline and then I opened it up in the middle and then I closed it and I just knocked out that bottom line. Now I'm on the half, I'm sorry, now I'm on the one guard lever all the way open and again a one with the grain is on the top. So the highest guard that I'll be using is a one and a half guard against the grain to kind of just blend that into the top. Now there are some times where the hair will just blend right in using the one guard open into the one guard with the grain on top, right? Um, but just to remove some dark spots and just attention to detail, I always just use like a one and a half guard to lighten those dark spots up. But every time my client comes in, um, it's either a long day after work, you know, long, you know, it's been a long week. So I think with every client that sits in a barber chair, even myself, when I get a haircut, all of a sudden we get this urge to just fall asleep. It's just a relaxation of you're getting the haircut, you're getting taken care of, and you just end up falling asleep. It could, be, it could be the sound of the clippers. I don't know, but something about a barber chair is contagious and you do fall asleep. My client right here, he was falling asleep in the chair and I'm gonna show you that you can still cut a client's hair even when they're falling asleep or dozing off we all know the famous, you know, the, the head nod, <laughs> just falling out. But I just let my client know, like, you got to be careful, right? Because if you were to, like, you just got to make sure you, with the opposite hand, hold the client's head so you don't mess up. Um, and kids fall asleep in the chair all the time, too. So I honestly would, would cut, a, I, would, I prefer cutting the kid's hair asleep versus crying and screaming and kicking <laughs> may be a little more difficult whenever they're asleep but you know you're able to move around the kid's head and not not you know the kid won't complain but anyways back to the tutorial now I'm using my half guard lever all the way open and then I'll put it in the middle and then close it to blend that line out that the one guard left behind and you're gonna see that this phase is gonna start coming together once that half guard is 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 uh done with the process and then I'll take the half guard off and open the lever all the way up and then just knock that out with no guard as so as I'm doing right here now you can tell that the ceramic blade is nice and white on there and in my eyes I just feel like it cuts better one because I do have a good habit of turning on and off my clipper that's a very good habit that I have because you don't want your blades to get hot right even with me doing that, my blade would still get a little warm. Or, I just feel it, it cuts cleaner, you hear it more. It's just like cutting cutting with the fast feeds whenever you use a ceramic blade on the fast feeds. I prefer using the ceramic blade on the seniors, so I decided to buy two ceramic blades because I have two seniors. And I got put on 
by my boy S Craft Blends. If y'all don't know who he is, check him out on Instagram, Shannon Craft S Craft Blends. He was a monster. And then when I started cutting with them, another barber in the shop started using them as well. My boy Nate NG Cuts on Instagram. And we all love the ceramic blade. We're all sold, and I can't wait to use them on the Andes trimmers. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I feel like it cuts better and it keeps the blades a lot cooler. Now we're gonna go ahead and fade this back out. I wanted to focus on the side and now right here, this is the half guard lever all the way open. Just making sure I'm cutting against the grain, feeding that hair into the blade. And I'm just basically um, connecting the back to the, to the left side of the client's head. And to be honest with you, like there are some clients that a barber may get frustrated with whenever the client falling asleep, nodding the head or whatever. But with this particular client, I can't get mad at him, man. I know he's a hard worker. He has three beautiful children and a you know full-time job. And he's a, he's a husband as well. So, and I know how he works. I know how he grinds all the time. So, and the conversation is always just mutual. And there's times where I'm just like, but I also like shave all the facial hair that he has on his face. I know it may not look like he has facial hair, but he has some stubble on there and he wants to get rid of that. And he comes in and basically just gets pampered. He gets the haircut and gets like a shave on the face. Um, so whenever I lie him back to get that shave, he's like, all right, that's it, I'm out. <laughs> See you after the haircut's done. And um, you know, I don't have a problem with it, but. Some clients, man, you're just like, yo, wake up. <laughs> I, I couldn't do this with this with this particular client. So basically what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? I went ahead and sped this side up, but it's the same steps. See how the one lever all the way open kind of left that darkness right around the parietal ridge area i'm using that one and a half guard to lighten that up see how that lightens up there's a little bit of like a, a dark shadow in that area and then i believe i think i went back to the one guard just to kind of i don't know i'm just real i i kind of see like dark spots and and an average person may not see that, but I just have the eye for it. Um, just certain dark spots and certain areas that I need to touch up. And clients may not see that as well, but they know that you spend the extra time and detailing the, the, the blend or the edge up or whatever it is on the client that you're detailing. They notice all those things. So right here, this is the half guard, and you're gonna see that that blend's just gonna start coming together. Then I take the half guard off and just use the left and right side of the corner of the blade, and I'm just blending that, blending that into the whatever the half guard left behind. I had posted this haircut on Instagram, and I got a lot of love for it. People were asking for the video for a haircut tutorial behind it. So, man, I think this fade just it's dope i think it suits him i think it's nice gradiency um nice contrast it's dark enough on top to where you can see the blend on the sides he really doesn't like a lot of hair on top but me as a barber educating him and giving him my professional opinion on keeping it dark on top with a nice fade on the sides he's okay with it because if it was any other barber he would probably do a half on top because he just don't like hair on, on top. He just don't like a lot of hair at all. But I'm like, dude, this fade is nice on you. It's a one with the grain. It's not too much hair. Um, he gets a haircut every week. So right here, this is when my client started falling asleep. Whenever I started balding out on the bottom. And right here, guys, this is something that I saw at a barber battle. I've seen it done before, but I recently saw it done at a barber battle. And I decided just to try it out and see what see what it's about. Honestly, it kind of helps me with 
where I put my lineup at, right? Um, it's basically using the talk powder, putting a little bit on your, on your opposite hand and kind of like dipping the blade into it and then lining the client up. And it, it helped me, it, it, it looks crisp, it leaves that ghost white line. Um, I think, it, I think, I don't know, I think it's a pretty cool technique. See how it leaves that white ash line or white powder line? It shows you where the lineup is at. And I'm using a wall retro T cut trimmers. As you can tell, I love these trimmers, man. They hit. I have them adjusted to where I can use them on kids and adults, and they do not bite at all. If you do put them close like any other trimmer, they will bite. But even with, you know, putting it on my opposite hand, then right here, my client, he was dozing off, man. I was like, yo, wake up. But again, man, I know how hard he works and how hard he grinds, so I can't get mad at him. But you know I had to get him. You know I had to get him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was out of there. So with me pointing the camera down, I did not get the razor part, but you understand, I'm just following the lineup, using the razor. Here is a color enhancement part right here. If you do not like color enhancement, hey, it is what it is. I'm growing with the industry. It's, uh, it's also a upcharge on the service and it just takes the haircut to a whole nother level so and my client loves it he's like yo i can't leave the chair without my color it hides grays it hides light spot uh light spots i mean my clients love it so i use it a lot and the fade's there. I'm not doing anything. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not hiding any lines. I'm just enhancing the haircut. That's what it is. Color enhancement. It's hair color. It's for hair. And I'm using the official Tune 45 cordless Get Beam Air Compressor. And as you can tell, the front, it goes to the point. And that's how my client's hairline is, naturally. That's how it grows. I'm not gonna cut against it, I'm not gonna round it, I'm not, I'm not gonna cut it off. I think this fade came out blurry. I think the hairline is crisp. Even with my client falling asleep, man. Appreciate you for being a loyal client for six years plus. And thanks for letting me record this haircut tutorial on you. I know you're gonna watch this. So this is the haircut right here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this haircut tutorial. Make sure you share, subscribe, like, comment. Team Gifted, as always, stay gifted.